hide it to two sides. Oh, damn. So you wanted to really think using one thing that stands out is uh, the dad forgot it. When you went in like to school. So you could have had breakfast with her. That's a lot for her. And you'd be a lot better. I just want to say I'm proud of what you keep up to be. And that we love you. We've got one more, one more guest speaker. But before we get to that one, one speaker, are there any law enforcement out here that have not been honored by the cavalry or have a cavalry first responders badge? Please. Give the uh, give the Blue Knights a round of applause for being here today. No, we didn't think the last time that we met was probably the proper place to do that for what we were there for. But we didn't forget about you guys. And what we have is a pin that we created for those who serve our county. Uh, for all of our first responders like you and you, we say thank you to you guys for what you do each and every day. Just like Andrew's willing to put his life on the line, that's the same thing you guys do every day. And we're thankful for that. So please, on, on behalf of Missouri County Calvary, we present you with your very own pen to recognize that we haven't forgot either one of you guys. So thank you guys. In case you don't know who I am, uh, John Ideas. I'm a police chief for a school district in Sweeney, a bitty town. But I'm also the president of the Blue Knights for Brazoria Chapter. Uh, on behalf of the Blue Knights, and Fred being an old friend of mine, uh, I was in the Air Force. I'm an Air Force veteran from the uh, Vietnam era. I was a dog handler. So I know what he's getting into a little bit. <laughs> it's all changed now. But uh, we thank him. We appreciate what he's doing. He's given up part of his life in order that we can have the fun and the freedom to ride our motorcycles and have a good time and speak what we want to say. So on behalf of the Blue Knights, thank you for what you're doing, and uh, God bless. Hey, uh, we have one more thing, because I just realized on the back of your vest, and I don't know your name, and I apologize, I'm going to let you tell me. Kenneth Ramsey. Kenneth Ramsey. On the back of his vest, if you didn't notice, it says Vietnam Veterans. So on our behalf, we said you should welcome home. Right, thank you for your service. Because of that, we also have a pen just for you. Thank 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 you.
just for that that says thank you for your service for serving our country. So we present you with your very own office. Thank you guys very, very much. <laughs> Too far off, as uh, when we get finished, I'm sure everybody's going to want to shake your hands start. too. And thank you. Come on, start. Um, like I said, we had uh, one more guest speaker, uh, and we need to get up here. He just wants love, yeah. I'd just like to tell y'all that uh, you don't need a motorcycle to come out here with us. We've got plenty of people in vehicles. Uh, just a couple hours of your time each month. Go to our website and take a look, Steve. Sign up. Come join us. We'd love to have y'all come out and ride. No dues. Just patriotism. That's all we, all we do. And before we, everybody gets up here to close, to shake your hand, we close this, close every one with a prayer for the family. And I'd like to get Tracy Reed to come back up here and do that for us. <laughs> Sir, what is your name? <laughs> Johnny Phil. You serve in the military? From when to when? To your Vietnam vet. Welcome home. Let me say this, are there any vets out here that we've never given a pen to? Come on up here. If you're a vet out here and we've not given you a pen, today's your day. I want you guys to stand right here by John and Kenneth and this gentleman. Y'all can line up right there. Give these guys all a big round of applause. just a small token to say thank you guys for your service. And Andrew, I want to say to you, life is about proving yourself. And you're about to take on something where you're going to prove yourself. And you're either going to pass or you're going to fail. We know you're going to pass. Okay? You have to know you're going to pass, but we already know you're going to pass because you have a lot of support. The folks that you see standing in front of you is half your family and half that the people have never met you in your life. But they believe in you. Just like these guys right here. One day you'll be standing over there. And hopefully somebody will take the time out and say, Sir, thank you for your service to our country. I'm going to pray for you. And I'm going to pray for several of you. Because these guys came home to a country that spit on them and called them names and treated them like crap. We're going to make sure that doesn't happen to you. So when you get through your basic, you're going to come home. You're going to have a little time before you're deployed or whatever you end up doing. And when you come home, we're going to honor you. Because at that point, you're going to be a veteran. Okay? 